Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening. Today's topic is about how to prepare for the impending chaos of summer. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from one of our sponsors. Intimidated by the chaos of summer? Focus on this truth. Written and read by Carrie Eichberger. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. That's Mark 1, verse 35. Are you ready for summer? It's a question all parents struggle to respond to when the school year comes to a close. I don't know about you, but from me, depending on who is doing the asking, you'll get a different answer. Because the truth is, my response doesn't seem to be so simple or appeasing to all. There's certainly perks in the hot months on the horizon, but mostly, I'm intimidated and scared. So if a friend who gets me asks, I'd say, ready? Hardly. I'm terrified. Mouths that are never full and fighting for their voices to be heard with no escape day after day, make my chest tighten. But if Supermom asks me if I'm ready, because I'm sure she can't wait to fire back about how delighted she is at the thought of her lovelies filling her home ASAP, I'll flash a smile and soften the truth with, oh, sure, I'm ready to sleep an extra hour, or ready as I'll ever be. And then there's the internal response that's swelling with guilt, already sure I'm going to fail big time, and the kids will probably just hate me before we're halfway through June. During the school year, I spend the first hour after the house is quiet, refueling with God and His truths through prayer, devotions, and reading the Word. And I fill my soul meeting with my Bible study girls once a week. But it all flies fast off the radar after Memorial Day. This time is my lifeline. How will I handle these key elements being removed or interrupted? How will I stay sane? And I bet we can all agree we kind of like more than just sanity. We hope to enjoy the summer too, right? It really does have some goodness to offer. Not only that, I truly do love my kids. I want to enjoy them also. I want to make sweet memories of this more carefree and beautiful time of year. Do you feel any of this? Are you a bit intimidated? Do you have memories of chaotic summers past? but you really wish it could be different this year. If I've learned one thing that I often forget about finding peace and chaos, it's that God does offer it freely, abundantly. This means there has to be a way you and I can open and expose it and allow it to fill the days just ahead. But how? For me, I can't afford to give up that quiet time. I just have to be more intentional about how I protect it. And it occurred to me, this is an opportunity us parents have been waiting for to model to our children what leaning on the Lord looks like, what prioritizing our faith looks like. When my kids aren't home daily, they don't see the extent of time I put in. And to be honest, I don't always openly announce it on the occasional weekend day they pop in while I'm immersed in the Word. So here's the truth I know. Our alone time at the start of each day with God is what he wants, as modeled by Jesus. And it sets the stage for each day. The Lord wants to direct your steps, your mood, your heart, all your plans and agendas. He doesn't desire you to fear the impending chaos you've created in your mind. He wants peace for you and joy for you. So we have to plan to go to him and then do it. I know in the summer it can be hard to find a routine and schedule. In fact, a lack of regiment is largely what makes me feel like crazy and messy is on the move. But I believe if you can commit to this one discipline in the months to come, you'll be amazed how God uses it. Intersecting faith and life. Can you do that? Commit now, maybe even share with your entire household your plan to spend an hour in prayer for your praise of who God is and what he's doing. 
for the specific help you need that day and for those around you who need to be lifted up. This alone can change your entire next season. I've seen God not only soften my spirit on the onset of each day, but also supply new ideas to create order for my children and inspire fresh boundaries for myself to encourage a sense of balance. I've found rising up from my prayer time less frustrated, less frazzled, more clear, more patient, more aware of God's presence and help that will keep walking with me throughout the day, more ready to face each hour with joy and courage and just strength. I really do want to enjoy these years and every season, and I know you do too. It is my prayer that committing to this ongoing time will help you feel not only less intimidated, but ready for the summer and the days of delight the Lord wants to pour into your days and your more peace-filled, joy-filled abundance of memories to come. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.